Hey, what's up guys? Malik is here. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to create the suspect slash target effect inside of DaVinci Resolver. So let's get started. First of all, we have an image of a crosshair that we're going to make it follow one of these people that appear in this video clip. So select both of these, of these video clips, right click and click on new fusion clip. Go to fusion, right click and go to arrange tools to grid. So we're going to we can arrange these nodes, delete the merge node and let's rename the nodes into people and crosshair. Okay, go to the people node, shift space and let's search for a tracker. Click add, now maybe let's make the tracker follow this guy. Okay, click on track forward and as you can see the tracker is doing a very good job at tracking this guy. After that we're gonna connect this crosshair to the tracker. Let's bring the crosshair here. Connect the crosshair to the tracker. Now go to the tracker, go to the second tab, change the operation from none to match move and you can see the tracker appears here. Now let's, since we have like no options to change this tracker position or size we're gonna need a transform node click on the crosshair node shift space and just type in xf and this will bring the transform node go to the transform decrease the size like this and bring it here to this guy now this is what we've done so far you can clearly see that the crosshair is following our target perfectly now maybe let's add a, a card that appears beside this guy that displays his name, occupation and his status, is he a threat or not? So let's do that. Go and create a background, then create a rectangle. Okay, let's display the background on this left monitor or you can simply click one if you want to display it on the left monitor or two if you want to display it on the right monitor. Okay, so let's create text plus node 2 and connect it to the our background go back to the okay let's display the merge node here and go back to the text let's type in name maybe his name is uh, John uh, John Brawley his occupation is a banker okay and his status is he's a threat okay i don't know why a banker would be a threat but he's a threat so change the anchor to the left here and bring this one here maybe let's change the font into uh, like some robotic uh, font this looks good and let's increase the rectangle width okay this looks good let's change the background color too maybe let's make it a dark gray so 33 33 33 and make it a little bit transparent now all we have to do is go ahead and connect this merge node with this transform node like this Okay, let's arrange arrange it like this you can clearly see that our card appears normally and we're gonna need another transform node to make the card a little bit smaller and change the position so after this first merge shift space transform now let's resize it here and go back to the first frame and Okay, let's resize it even more. Okay, like this. And bring it down here. This looks good. And maybe we want to change the this thread word into uh, change the color, maybe into a red one. So, right click on the stylized style text, click on character level styling. Now, just select thread like this. 
go to the modifier go to the third tab and change the color to red and this is our final result okay let's increase the viewer this is our final result you can see the crosshair is following our, gu our guy there is a card that appears besides him display his name occupation and he's a threat okay now let's make this footage looks like it's been taken from a security camera I have here a VHS noise alpha channel just go to the inspector change the composite mode from normal to add and this is our final result so if you like this tutorial make sure to subscribe for more and I will see you in the next one